Hi, I'm going to point out some of the advantages and disadvantages of electron beam welding versus laser welding so that you can make better decisions regarding which process is right for your application. Both electron beam and laser welding methods utilize a concentrated beam of energy that can be precisely controlled in both energy and location, thus the technologies are ideal for precision welding. EB welding uses an accelerated beam of electrons that can be magnetically deflected and focused on the workpiece. Laser welding uses amplified light that is delivered and deflected by glass lenses, mirrors, and often a fiber optic cable. The biggest advantage of EB welding is it can deliver deeper penetration welds than any other process. An EB weld can be up to 2 inches deep in steel with a width of less than 0.2 inches. The narrow width, also called the heat affected zone, means minimal heat going into the part as well as minimal distortion. EB can also apply very light welds, only a few thousandths of an inch deep. However, to generate electrons, EB welding must take place in a vacuum, and that means waiting to pump down a vacuum chamber. You're also restricted with part size. If it doesn't fit in a vacuum chamber, it can't be EB welded. But a huge advantage of welding under vacuum is there is no oxidation, contamination, or cover grass problems, unlike conventional welding methods. In fact, many impurities found in the base material are vaporized during the process, resulting in the strongest, purest weld you can get. Finally, electron beam equipment is expensive. Welding machines start around a million dollars, and the cost for upkeep and support is high. Besides having personnel trained in EV welding, you also need expertise in high vacuum and high voltage technologies. Laser welding can be a great alternative. Equipment is less expensive, and parts can be welded in open air, so no vacuum chamber, although cover gas is often required. No vacuum also means part size isn't an issue, and the laser can be delivered via fiber optic cable, which lends itself to robotic control. Lasers achieve decent weld penetration up to about a quarter of an inch in steel and also have a small heat affected zone, but a laser simply can't achieve the same penetration as an electron beam. One of the reasons for this is the molten material in the weld pool can act like a mirror and reflect laser energy away from the piece. To compensate for this and to keep the part cool, the laser can be pulsed on-off, which lets a high peak of energy penetrate the reflective surface but keeps the average power put into the part low. Both electron beam and lasers are excellent for welding dissimilar metals, but which is best depends on the material and the weld needed. If you want to know more, please call us or check out our website. We've been in business for over 50 years. We're happy to answer any questions or help you with your design. Thank you for watching.